Do you remember, Mary, our meeting with Henry Flagler at the Hotel Ormond in 1899? I certainly do, Andrew. It was a wonderful visit over dinner, I believe. Henry had been through so much in the previous few years in both his business and personal dealings. In 1895, he announced a monumental plan to extend his Florida East Coast Railroad all the way to Key West. And in 1897, his second wife, Ida Ellis, was institutionalized and then, to everyone's distress, declared insane just this year. So, when we met him, we knew he had a lot on his mind. But you know Henry, he was anxious to bring us up to date about the Hotel Ormond and his latest expansion plans. Again, the hotel's capacity would be doubled and the palmetto palms would replace our natural pines. Over dessert, he did let us in on some of the details of his dream to build what he called a railroad across the ocean. He felt that the logical end of all railroad building in Florida was to reach a deep water terminus in proximity to Central and South America. You know, Mary, that night as we talked with Henry, there was no doubt in my mind that he would follow that dream to conclusion.